Is there anything else? A uh, few cars. Yeah, you can call these probably. Bruce's autos. Get rid, get focused, get down. Bruce in his. Huh. Yeah, you can press this different social status. Personal group, full throttle. So yeah, you can see everything about Bruce here. And here you can press the home button and we're right back in the beginning. But yeah, that's probably everything we want to do now. You can use the computer to get into different sites and everything. You can actually access some sheet maps and everything also. I don't remember the addresses right now. So let's go to Falston. I have set up the email account. I am now online in Liberty City, Roman. Nice one, Gus. Did you meet the girl who works there? Nice pair of titties on her, no? Later on. Is that the only thing he's concerned about? The other titties. I mean, nothing against it, but... Seen better. What is wrong with you? Exactly, what's wrong with people getting in the way all the time? Oh, there we go. Said he had something to do. Something. Something. Let me tell you something. Me and this guy, we were in the army together. We were in prison together. We are like brothers. Now it's always something. Always something. Always something. Yeah. You want a drink? No, thank you. Well, I do. Falston. No! I'm fucking angry. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you something. You know her? <laughs> no. Good. Because if you did, I'd fucking kill you. <laughs> Why? She's my daughter. I'm going to her. I bring her here. I spoil her rotten. Raise her well. Look at this. Look. Look what I've given her! Yeah, yeah she's uh, very lucky to have such a loving father. She is. She's an out-of-control bitch. <laughs> because of you, you pathetic mess. But I don't accept my daughter turning into a whore. Nico, she's a firefly island. Mm -hmm. Good. If she's meeting up with that bad fucking boyfriend, get him. Find Dimitri for me. Okay. Have him call me. Sure. Go. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's one. 
on this functional family, all right? Oh, that's a nice car. Ah, it doesn't show up what the name. Oh well. All right, that's the hood right there. Can't take a beating for shit. Is this car made of plastic or something? Oh well, at least it's fast. Can people stop turning out right in the middle of the road when I'm trying to drive? It's such a nuisance. No, exactly, it's not funny. Not at all. Then all the brothers will get to share you. I want you all to myself. Get away from Mr. Faustin's daughter. Fuck you! This ain't Russia, and we ain't communists. Tell my father I can see whoever I like. I'm gonna get the brothers, and we're gonna kick your fucking ass! Oh well, you think you're all that, do you? That's fast. Back to Mr. Faust we go. I've killed the biker. I don't know how happy your daughter will be. I don't care about her. I care about discipline and loyalty. Thank you. Oh well. He's happy at least. What the hell was that? I grazed the rail and it just threw me off. Oh well. Hello, Mr. Faustin. Mikael home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. He's very polite, at least. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikael doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It's a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people. Smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> After you walk into a village, and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. 
Привет, Лена. Привет, Эмма. Что это? Я тебе скажу одну вещь, и ты игнорируешь меня! Ты ступый бич! Нико Беллик, ребенок. Хорошо видеть тебя. Эй, ты тоже. Что ты хочешь? Я хочу тебя учить людей, чтобы слушать тебя. Ты хочешь, чтобы он получил нас деньги? Фак деньги. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! I would. <laughs> so, what do you want? This prick who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotlar on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Hmm. Eh? No one listens to what he has to say. Or what he wants people to do, so that's why he gets mad. Oh well, let's take a new one. <laughs> Hopefully it isn't that long away. Right. Ouch. Far. Obviously not, but... So, here we are, straight line. A little bit at least. Straight line again. Whoa. Oh well, lose wanted level. Oh crap, they're at my tail. First, get rid of this wanted level. Before I even consider getting into a truck. It's only one star, so it will go away quite fast. There we go. Now we can go back and get into the truck. That's that's a truck, right? Wow, oh, I hate driving these things. They're even harder than driving a brick. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill, park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, trigger the explosive. It should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. Explosive! What the fuck? <laughs> All right, be careful on the way over, is us. Right. Yeah, yeah. Turn left, he says. Like it's that fucking simple. Green. <laughs> one mile, turn left. Right, so we're at the bridge again. Alright, this time we'll do it the normal way. That's slow. 
I'm watching it, but it's not that easy. Slow down and pay the toll. Yeah, I know. It's not that dangerous right now. Nico, Roman, we should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. That's really true. Almost there. You have arrived. Yeah, so I have. Run the fuck out. Whoa. Possible terrorist act right in my ass. I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me? No, not usual, but. Fuck you, put me in a car with explosives and expect me to be like, oh, that's nice. Let's see, that car sucks, that car sucks. It's only the same type of car, almost. Yeah, how could you? You're more than welcome to get out of here. Alright, let's key. Let's call Austin instead then. Let's call the vehicle.
let's go to the Internet Cafe and check out our emails. Ice cold, man. Nico, it's Roman. I've been talking to Bruce. That droid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours, too, if you like. Anyway, he's got some work, and we are in need of money. Meet him at Bruce's executive auto on Mohanad in East Hall. Mallory calls you. We are bowling together. See you later. Right. Let's just first check out this email thingy. Done. Four emails already. Let's see. Footline, Liffen, Itten, Blacken, Mads, Mads, Millis, Mollis, Mollis, Penis, Penis. What? You're Mexican doctor.com. All right. <laughs> right. Strange prescription drugs without a prescription. Roman. Exactly. This will say both nice. So <laughs> you need serious help. Yeah right, so if I want to do this I just reply to this email and then we're just good to go. In this case, we're full of it. Crap jobs. I actually like this, uh, they've done quite a good job on the internet thing actually. You can enter your own internet addresses or search. Yeah, we're done here. Let's get out. So we can actually take Dimitri or Bruce. I'm actually taking Dimitri's. So let's get a move on. My leg, what? There we go. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, sit down.
What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Faust. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you would want to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. I'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Bellic, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. That's one way of seeing life. <laughs> Depending on what game you're playing and what the rules are, you can always break them or change them or walk around them. It's all depending on how you actually... Ah, uh, shut up. said it's actually dependent on how you interpret interpret the rules. I have arrived. I can go in and kill people now. Yeah, alright, so we need to kill Mr. Faust here. That's neither good nor bad. Mostly bad. Some protection. What has left me? Hopefully it's a uh, west. Yeah. Nice. That's exactly what I needed right now. Nico. Nico Bellic. You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over. You brought this on yourself. You pushed things too far. You would be dead if it wasn't for me. <sighs> yes, I would. That is what Dimitri wanted when he killed Vlad. Dimitri. My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? So now we're back on that again. He'd just be some prison queen had I not been there. Meet for some gin monkey! 